In this part one video, we will focus on how you can use ID8 Bimly to easily create new view types for your Revit projects and templates. Some owners and jurisdictions require Revit model deliverables to have the same naming conventions and view organizations in the project browser and across all models. One of the challenges with Revit is the ability to bulk create view types for the different view categories in a project. While it may take a short amount of time to create new view types for small projects, creating many different view types and standardizing the naming and view template assignments for large projects can take a very long time. Unfortunately, Revit does not have an easy way to create new view types. In this situation, users will have to create new view types one by one. Thankfully, we have ID8 BIMLink to assist us with this challenge. ID8 BIMLink reports on existing view types and their properties, such as type name, reference label, and even the view template assignment and allows users to edit the existing information and create new view types at the same time, making short order out of a process that would normally take a long time. Let's have a look at how we can create new view types using ID BIMLink. In this model, you can see that I have some floor plans, ceiling plans, and other view types that are organized by a particular view type category. If I select this floor plan over here and go to the properties palette, you can see that I have a zero documentation floor plans. In order to organize this browser a little bit more, I'd like to create other view types. Perhaps I want one for working views, another one for presentation views, and also one for exports, such as to Navisworks. I could certainly use different organizational parameters to make this happen, but I prefer to use a view type. If I click on the ceiling plans, you can see the same thing over here. I need the additional view types. I'm going to use ID8 BIMLink for this process. Now before I do so, I'm going to go to the View tab and to my View Templates. You can see that I have already created view templates for each of the situations. You can see I have the documentation, the export, presentation, and working. When I launch BIMLake, you can see that I have a link here called View Types Create New. Let's have a look at that. You'll notice that I have 20 view types in the model. I'll go ahead and show full preview. And we see that I have some for 3D views, cost reports, elevations, floor plans, and so forth. The goal, once again, is to use BIMLink to create the additional view types so that I can organize my floor plan views, sections, details, and so forth. Over here, you can see that I have the view template apply to new views. This will allow me to also assign a view template depending on the view type. You'll notice over here in gray that the new views are dependent on template is gray and has a check. And that happens to be because there are no view template assignments for these views. Once I export this data out, I can also assign view templates to these particular view types in addition to creating additional view types as well. When I click on the link tab, you'll notice this option here called export with dropdown values. What that's going to do is give me a listing of all the view templates and other view related elements in a list format. That way I can easily select which view template assignment I want to apply to each of the view types. In addition to that, I can set other settings as well. Now that everything looks good, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I'll hit Export. And you'll notice here that I have an existing Excel file. This one's called View Type Needs. I'm going to insert this particular export as a worksheet inside of this Excel file. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. I'm going to be prompted to insert this as a new worksheet, or I can select another spreadsheet file. I'll go ahead and open the file. You'll notice down here at the bottom, I have the view types needed, which is the worksheet that I had created earlier, and then the export from BIMLink. This happens to be the current Revit model data. Starting at B22, I'm going to insert new view types. I'm going to come back to the view types needed. And the reason why I did this is I decided I want view types for the different categories, like floor plans, ceiling plans, elevations, and building sections. And I also decided I would like to have the view types be working, presentation, and export. What I'm going to do is concatenate the data between columns B and C to generate the view type names. Then I'll copy the information from column A so that I can assign each one of these view types to the appropriate view type category. Now that I have my view types created, I'm going to take this information and copy it to the clipboard. And then I'm going to come over to my view types create new and I'm going to paste it under column C in cell C22. 
I'm going to go ahead and paste the resulting values. And you can see the naming convention here matches what's existing in my model. What I also need to do is assign each one of these view types the appropriate Revit category. To do that, I'm going to come back to my list here. I'll copy this to the clipboard and I'll paste the resulting values over here. I'm going to repeat the same process once again for the other view types as well. Now that that process is complete, I'm going to type in the word new. That'll tell Bimlink to create the new view types upon import. If you leave this blank, you'll have errors. Now I can certainly stop at this point and import this information in. However, the view types will not get assigned any view templates. So I need to assign view templates for each one of the view types. Now, as I mentioned before, I had exported everything with dropdown values. And if I look after column J, which is the Revit model data that can be uh, exported and imported, you'll notice a space here and then the export with dropdown values. Under column M, you'll see the view template views. This happens to be the list of all the view templates in the project. When I come over here, you can see that I have dropdown lists for each one of the view template assignments. However, in F22, I do not see a dropdown list. That's an easy fix. I'm going to select F21, which is my last data output from Bimlink, and I'll just fill it down. It so happens to be that this last one had none, which is absolutely perfect. So now that I have this all set, I'm going to assign the appropriate view template for each one of these view types. So I'll pick the working floor plans for this one, working ceiling plans for this one, I'll pick the working exterior elevations, interior elevations, and then finally building sections. I could certainly repeat the process for the presentation and exports, but I'll go ahead and stop at this point. Now that this is complete, I'll go ahead and hit the save button. You may notice that I have not filled in the true value here for new views are dependent on view template. And that's because once a view template is assigned to this view type, it will automatically become true. I'll save this information and I'll import the results. I'll select the view types needed. I'll expand the dialog box to get a better view. And you can see everything in yellow is what's about to change. Now that this process is complete, I'm going to hit the import button. I'll close out of BIMLink and let's have a look. If I select this floor plan over here, you can now see that I have the working floor plan option presentation floor plans, and export floor plans. If I happen to pick working floor plans, you could see now that it moves over to a new category. If I come over to elevations, you can see that I have the exterior and interior elevations for each one of my categories. And the same goes for sections. That concludes part one. In part two, I'll show you how you can take this information and transfer it over to a new project or even to existing projects so you can create the same view types using the same view templates. We hope you found this information helpful and beneficial to your workflows. Be sure to visit our website at id8software.com to learn more about our products, workflows, help, and upcoming classes. Be sure to also follow us on social media for the latest information and news from ID8 Software. Thank you.